today about the Berto and Company clipboard slash planner slash kind of a folio holder, if you will. And check that out and see what you get. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now I did receive this planner and pens in exchange for an honest review. So just wanted to disclose that. And this is a company I have actually honestly never heard of. They reached out to me and it's possible not that they're bad planners or not popular, it's just that I'm not a teacher and their entire company and their planners are meant for teachers which you should take a note of is a great idea for you to niche down and target a specific audience so I have no idea how much this planner cost um, I did look on their site all their planners vary from 50 to $60 each but they seem to be having a sale right now where everything is $20 plus you get 10% off if you sign up for their mailing list so let's just go ahead and look inside all right, so I did receive this as a special um, request from them to do a review. So it's possible when it comes to a customer, it may look different, but it did just arrive in a plain brown box. Um, and that's it. So no branding or anything to show you on the other side, just my, just my home address. All right, so we have a gold box inside of here. We have something with some tissue paper. Oh wait, because I opened it upside down. We have some cards and we have a nice little card that says Lisa. How cute is that? Um, all right, so we'll just open this. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this unboxing. We can't wait to just hear what you think of our planner. And we're so appreciative. Thank you, enjoy the Berto and Company family. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, Berto, Barto? Very, I think it's French, so very, very fancy. Uh, so this came in plastic, and this says, happy, think happy thoughts, little tree. I think it's a, yeah, oh yeah, it's a sticker. Um, and then I think these might be stickers too. Let's play the quiet game. I'm guessing the Barto family, Barto family has children. <laughs> I don't have children. However, I am like 99.9% .9 positive. I'm sure my boyfriend sometimes is like, can we play the quiet game? Because he thinks I asked too many questions. <laughs> All right. So those are some stickers. And this is another thank you card. This must be the one that everyone gets. Oh, I see. It's empty, so you could put something in there. That's very cute. Um, style and function for teachers. So I love donuts. And I love lattes. It's like the perfect card for me to give to somebody. Uh, all right, so this is what you get. And let's just open this gold box because it looks so pretty. And it is taped. Oh, pretty. We got some sparkly pens. We have a pink sparkly. And I'm going to say this is like a gold sparkly pen. So very nice. We will just write on. I don't even know what to write on. Everyone gets so angry in these videos when I write on stuff. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, hello. All right, so it's ballpoint pen. Okay, let's open up the main prize. Some tissue paper. And then around the tissue paper, we have a bubble wrap which let's open it this way and over here we have a nice little clipboard so you can stick things on the front and I guess you probably want to just put this inside so you didn't accidentally write on it so you could put a piece of paper here do I have a piece of paper let me find one all right so we could put a piece of paper over here and we could write on it with our sparkly pen because that's the prettier pen. Hello. Sparkly pen. All right. So um, that's nice. It kind of doubles as a clipboard if you ever need that. And the Go Planner. So a little apple. So it must be for teachers, but I'm not a teacher. Uh, but I do like pretty things. So hopefully you can see this all in the shot. There we go. Let me move this stuff out of the way. 
Okay, so we have a pocket folder over here and it has some cute little stripes and then make today great. So I think this is interchangeable actually. Let me pull this out. Yes, so this is something you can take in and pull out whenever you need to. Um, so you have some nice gold foiling here on the front and we have the 2020 Go Planner. And hey there, thank you for purchasing this planner. So a nice little note from Jose and the Bort Berto and company family. I hope I'm saying that right. All right, so now we get stickers in the front. Always appreciative. And I know you guys can't see this, but this is actually pretty big. I mean, you can see it, but you can't see the measurement. So this is like an a 10, a little bit over 10 and eight and a half inches. And then this whole thing together is a little over 11 inches tall and nine, a little over nine inches wide. So nice big size, great for teachers because you have a whole desk in theory to kind of hang out at. All right, so we get two pages of stickers, nice bright colors. We get 2020 at a glance over here and another at a glance where you can put some boxes, some to-dos, and we have some tabs over here on the side all in that same sort of colorful, but kind of neutral, kind of is a little, I think, masculine. So that way, if you're a dude, you don't feel uncomfortable using it. And we have January and we have over here, you get to see February, really quick preview and top five priorities. And you can put some to-dos over here. I like that this is big. I like that it has all these cute colors, um, notes, and it looks like this is kind of, this is a different format. I haven't seen this before. Um, so this is nice. So every month, I'm sure, is a rinse and repeat. You get your monthly at a glance. Are they the same color? No, they change color to match the tabs. And then for the weekly, um, you do get the same. So the weeklies, though, look the same with that same color format up and down. So this goes January, June, July, August, September, all the way through December. And then the very last page, you get some notes. I don't know if every, is every month like that? No, yeah, it is. So every month you get a notes page and then you get a to-dos page for the next month. Um, so here's November's notes and then you get December, sort of a to-do list. I don't know how, did I skip that in January? Maybe I skipped it. Yeah, I did. I didn't even, I know, because it didn't have a notes section over here on the back. Um, all right, so now we're in January, and you get your notes page, and you're at the end. So this is kind of nice. If you like the style, you can swap it out every year and uh, replace it with something else or whatever their new version is, or maybe they have notebooks. So it's a full year, um, but it's pretty thin and I like it. The only thing I will say um, is the elastic. It's almost like it was too big for this particular thing, but I will say maybe that was on purpose in case you want to, I'm looking for something else to put in here. Like maybe if you want to put other pages inside of here, then the elastic could like hold that um but it's just a little too loose for me I'd want it a little tighter um but that's it otherwise great job what'd you think I really liked it I thought it was super cute I think this is a very clever design to put a clipboard on the front and have a folio that is interchangeable so you can swap it in and out every year or maybe if you have to go to a different classroom I don't know how teachers work but it does seem very functional and it has a lot of extra space inside of there. So if you had to put some extra papers that you're grading or looking at, um, that would be helpful as well. And these pens were super cute. Who doesn't like sparkly stuff? Um, and they're just straight ballpoint pens. Um, so just really pretty to have around. And yeah, so that's kind of what I thought. Again, the only, um, the only thing I would say that could be improved is just the elastic band. And that's pretty much it. And I did forget to mention that it does have gold foiling on the front. I wasn't sure if you were able to see that. And on the back with uh, just the design. So you'd really have to like the Berto and company name because it is on the front and on the back. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I keep saying that, but I think, I think it's close enough. Anyways, let me know what you think if you're a teacher. Uh, would love to hear what teacher planners teachers are using and they love to go to and what features they love to have inside of their planners. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. Remember, if you would like to create your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free five-day course, Planner 101. I will leave a link to that in the description below, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.